Certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good Thursday morning. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your Thursday morning update. Now for today, we will see at least some more consistent temperatures across our area. Closer to 37 degrees, just a couple of degrees cooler up north, but no large temperature split across mid-Michigan. And our wind will be on the lighter side, only 5 to 10 miles per hour. So wind chills will, at least on paper, be a few degrees cooler. Uh, nothing all too extreme, though, in the wind department for today. Uh, there's a look at your First Alert hour by hour. Once we head through this morning, a few of those flurries are going to be possible moving in from the southwest. Uh, this is by noon today, then headed for, towards 5 p.m. Notice just more of these scattered snow showers that move through and not going to be all too widespread with that and nothing uh, that's all too heavy is expected with that either. And with temperatures above freezing today, we actually are expecting this to just melt on contact with the ground, so we aren't expecting roadway impacts as we go through the afternoon and the evening. Once we head into tonight, just a few lingering snow showers should remain. That's also the case for your Friday morning. Otherwise, most of your Friday is going to be on the drier side in between any of those isolated snow showers. Snow predictor shows less than an inch here and most of these accumulations would be this evening and tonight. Once those temperatures start to fall below freezing, even then this would just really be on some grassy or elevated surfaces. So we aren't expecting really any impacts out of that. This will be a pretty low key snowfall event for us today. 70 forecast does have a very nice weekend ahead of us, partly to mostly sunny on Saturday, partly cloudy on Sunday. Temperatures in the middle 30s both days and we'll just track a chance for rain and snow around Tuesday next week. Stay with WNEM-TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.